This webisode was a question. People were asking us, how do you know the difference between compatibility and suitability? Because they're not the same thing. In fact, there has been a lot of information over the last few years telling us, find somebody that you're compatible with. Find somebody that you get along with. Find somebody that you have great chemistry with. Although that is good advice, <laughs> is it in fact kingdom advice? Right. So let's have a conversation about compatibility versus suitability. Okay, so let's just be real about this, all right? Be real. Let's just be real. You can be compatible with someone that keeps you in your comfort zone. You can be compatible with someone that's an assistant to your downfall. A secretary. You can be compatible with someone that's a life wrecker. Talk. You can be compatible with the demon. They, they know what you like. The devils know what you like. They too. know what you like. You can be compatible with someone that cures your loneliness. They help you to avoid your emptiness. It's not just about compatibility. Listen, because some of us have been compatible with people that were not good for us. You have to understand that because some people in your life keep you at a level that God doesn't want you to stay at. And the reason y'all get along so well is because your drive is so low. Yeah. As long as I have them, I really don't have to have a collision course encounter to how I really feel about myself. So right. it's not always about compatibility because no. sometimes we look for people who are in agreement with us because some people are congruent with the current you, but hmm. they're not suitable for the next level you. Hmm. And what we don't want you to do is to learn how to exist on a level that's beneath you. So you'll start formulating preferences. You'll start saying you get along with these type of people. Right. God did not cosmically create for you to stay here. That's right. So you have to understand compatibility is a part, but it's more about suitability because assignment reveals alignment. Hmm. Because listen, if I don't know what I'm assigned to, I won't know who they are sent by. Woo. I won't know who they're sent by because I don't know my assignment. Because just like God sends people, the enemy sends people too. Well, yes. And what helps me weed through the distractions, mm -hmm. what helps me weed through the traps, what helps me weed through the counterfeits yeah. is being able to know what am I supposed to be doing right now? Right what now. am I supposed to be doing in this season? What am I supposed to be maximizing right now? You and if I, if I don't want? have that target, I won't be able to recognize that this is a target sent by the enemy to distract me. And this poses a risk because when you think about compatibility, it could make some of you go back to your ex because mm. you're compatible with them. Please don't go back to that ex. And please never let somebody make you feel guilty because you're evolving. They're complaining and have so much criticism to say about you because they're compatible with the former version of you, the expired version of you. You have to go back to your old you and old places to be compatible with them. Right. You are evolving on the regular. And sometimes an ex comes back just to see if they have access. Yes. Or another season, they come back to see if you're still on the same level, but you're not. Okay, so let's talk about suitability. God always sends you someone that suits his will. The enemy always sends somebody that suits your will. You can't have both. You can't have his will and your will. It's gotta be all 100% his will. When we talk about compatibility, compatibility has to do with how personalities and activities match. Whereas suitability has to do with what your assignments are and how your assignments match. When God looked at Adam, he didn't say, it's not good for man to be alone. I will create him a compatible helper. He said, it's not good for man to be alone. I will create him a suitable helper. Right. What is God saying? I need to provide him with somebody who suits my will in the earth. My will is for this man to be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. He could be compatible with a monkey. He could be compatible with a dog. That's man's best friend. You can have fun with a dog. Throw a ball at the dog. Right. Tell the dog to fetch. You can exercise with the dog. Y'all yeah. running two or three miles. Y'all get along so well. You could watch a movie with the dog mm -hmm. and he would just sit there or she would sit there in your lap. The dog can actually bring you comfort. You know? Just if you cry one night, the dog can lick your tears. Yes. But it's a dog and a lot of us have had dogs. And we're saying we're so compatible. So but until you meet a king, and until you meet a queen, until you know your assignment, mm. you won't be able to recognize this is just a pet, not a partner. This is just something I can have fun with, right. but this isn't somebody I'm supposed to go to the altar with. Come on. You could have a guy that y'all just have fun together, great conversations, nothing sinful, nothing sexual. Y'all are just get cool. Get along, great. Just because y'all have friendship chemistry, this does not mean they're a marital partner. This is how we identify that by knowing our assignment. Yes, so the conversation needs to be had. What 
are you assigned to do? What's your assignment? And you need to know this before they get here. If you don't, when they arrive, they can take you on a series of detours to take you away from your assignment. When it comes to the conversation of compatibility or suitability, what we're trying to get you to understand is if I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, yeah. if I don't really have goals, if I don't really have targets, if I, if I can't properly define success, because success is relative to your situation. Success for you could be going a month without getting high. Success for you could be paying off some debt. Success for another person could be healing from childhood trauma. Success is relative on your situation. And for me to identify who best suits me is for me to identify what does God want me to do right now? If God wants me to heal, him or her coming along could be a distraction because if they're not a secretary for me becoming a better person and if they don't assist me in becoming healed, yeah. they're a distraction. Mm. If they blind me to what I'm going through, if they make me avoid my abandonment issues, if they make me avoid my trust issues, yeah. this is a distraction. So you being able to identify a God sent from a counterfeit is directly tied to what are you supposed to do right now what are you supposed to be doing in this season and everybody's season is different and if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing in the season then you won't know who is toxic for you in this season right. because I have no target I have no goal so important I have no mission yeah what is my assignment it don't have to be deep what do you feel God is calling for you to do right now? Is it getting your mind in order? If they come and make your mind turn into a Ferris wheel, it's probably a distraction. You trying to turn down, but all your friends are trying to turn up. Every time you try to not go to the club, they're trying to encourage you, encourage you to go to the club. You're not trying to get lit no more, and they're trying to get all the way lit. They are not suitable for your assignment right now. If you're mm -hmm. trying to pursue what God wants you to pursue, yeah. living holy, you're gonna have to have them move around or you're gonna have to move around because they're not suitable for your assignment. We're not saying cut everybody off, but I am saying cut off who's cutting you off. If this is cutting off your peace, if this is cutting off your sleep, if this is cutting off your clarity, your purity, this might not be somebody that's suitable for this season. And so when it comes to romantic relationships, you have to ask yourself, does this individual push me closer to my spiritual goals? Does this individual make me have a treadmilling season? Because depending on how sound you are in your commitment, the enemy sends us a lot of treadmill people because he knows I can't obviously take them back, but if I can get them to be stuck where they're at, right. they won't recognize that they're not growing. And so we just want you to be aware, compatibility and suitability are tied to you knowing what is my goal for this season. Redefine TV. Or we're redefining relationships righteously. righteously.